Good morning, guys. Ray, Ray's Landscaping. Headed over here. Starting my day is Tuesday. Headed over here to uh, uh, to the first one. I got uh, I got five on the list today. Was it five? Six? Excuse me, six on the list today. And uh, yeah, I'm by myself today. <sighs> and that's okay. Uh, I think Wade's trying to to uh, go get his license renewed today, so uh, I don't know how much trouble he's gonna have with this COVID virus and all. But uh, yeah. So we'll have to see how things go. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm by myself. I'm okay with that. Uh, I seem to do okay, you know, by myself. Uh, as long as I can hand pick which ones I'm doing, you know. So, yeah. Go get it, girl. Go get it. <clears throat> Right. <laughs> I'm pretty good today. So, uh, I ordered, uh, so I ordered some, uh, a couple more, uh, things from Milwaukee that I've been wanting to get. Uh, I got, I ordered the uh, backpack sprayer uh, with the interchangeable tanks. Uh, I got a, I got one job. I, well, I actually got about three jobs coming up that requires a lot of spraying, man. And I've never had a battery powered sprayer, so uh, yeah. And if it runs off, uh, if it runs anything like uh, any of the other Milwaukee things that I have that I bought. Well, that's going to be pretty cool. So I've been watching, I've been watching some videos, uh, you know, in the evening time. I've been watching old Jesse Black Fork, Black Fork Lawn of Snow. Big shout out to Jesse. What's up, man? And, uh, hey, he's putting the grind in, y'all. That boy is working working and doing it doing everything he needs to do to get over to get by man you got to respect that shit man you know uh, that's exactly how i was when i was uh, uh younger starting in this game you know uh i was 35 when i started and i was man i was i was willing to i was i was off the chain with the hustle game with the multi-hustling ability, man, it just, man, you know, everything that Jesse's doing, I was doing. From, you know, uh, well, from, you know, grinding stumps, to doing mulch, to doing, you know, carrying debris off and cutting and trimming stuff and carrying it all off and and all of that. And those are all the things that you go through, you know, uh, to be successful in this business. And what is success, you know? What is successful? Well, to me, successful in my business is the ability to be able to uh, run my own gig every day the ability to, well of course the ability to pay uh, my bills and to grow a little bit each season but you know the first four or five years I did everything I was just like Jesse you know uh, had my dip my hand off in this and dip my hand off in that but as I got older I got a little I evolved a little bit more and I started seeing uh, different ways that I can make money you know uh other than what i was doing because uh 
a lot of the stuff that I was doing back then was real heavy in the labor end of it, you know, back breaking labor. You know, shoveling mulch off of a trailer, that kind of thing, moving rocks around the side of the house and, and all of that, you know. Uh, but, you know, I had to go through that to understand and to get uh, where, I, where I'm at. Uh, and I'm nowhere where I want to be. Uh, I'm where I want to be right now. And that's, I guess that, that, is, that is, defines the success of my own head, you know. I feel like I'm where I should be. I feel like I'm where I need to be. I feel like uh, the business is uh, exactly where it needs to be. And uh, and all the growing pains and headaches along with that, well, they're there too. You know, the labor issues uh, that I've had this past year. Uh, and hopefully moving into this season, excuse me, moving into this season, I won't have all those. <laughs> I got uh, I got a couple. Of, I got one good guy that's working full time. Uh, he's not working today, like I said earlier. He's supposed to be trying to get his license renewed. Uh, and then I got a part time or two. And you know these guys are pretty good guys. They're not a bunch of drug addicts and shit. You know. And man, if you don't watch out out here, boy, that's what you'll get. You know. Uh, but yeah, I did everything that Jesse's doing. You know. And. Stopping with this truck right on my ass, man. But, uh, just having the ability to get out here and get it and get it, Jesse, that's what you gotta have, man. And then you'll learn what you wanna do and what you don't wanna do. And then you'll learn how to, how to evolve and tweak your business into where you really wanna be. My, thinking as I got older, you know, uh, after I hit 40, you know, and, and, and up to now, uh, the last eight or nine years, you know, uh, my thinking was, it, it has always been get more equipment, uh, and focus on the big lawns. That's been my, that's been my, uh, my, my, my focus. I haven't, I haven't, I didn't, like, I don't do a lot of mulch anymore. Uh, I don't do a lot of, uh, uh, manual labor stuff, uh, unless I'm, uh, I personally don't do it, you know, which is that where, is that what is, was that the way it's supposed to be? For instance, last year, uh, I, I put a job together, got, uh, we did eight pallets of sod on a, on a property and, uh. I didn't even touch the sod. I didn't even touch it. I, I never laid. I didn't even lay one piece. Uh, I, I, the guys that worked for me did. Now I went and got it. I set up the job. I went and got it. I took the skid steer over there, graded it. I did all the machine things, <laughs> but I did not do any of the labor stuff. You know, the manual labor. You know, is that how? You know, is that how it's supposed to be? Is that? You know. Because my thinking was, shoot, I can hire, you know, I can let the guys that work for me do that, and I can still make my money, and uh, and I can do the other parts that are required that are not physical labor, you know. Because if you just have physical labor out here, well, you know, what do you really have? And then if you just have somebody thinking about the future and, and planning to work, what do you really have? You gotta have a little bit of both, you know. You gotta have a, you know, like with these lawns today, you know, yeah, I'd be a lot, I'd be a lot better doing these lawns if I, if I, well, a lot faster, I don't know about better, but a lot faster doing these lawns today if I had somebody with me. But it ain't mandatory. Like it ain't like I'm going and laying ten pallets of sod or nothing. You know, uh, I'm not doing anything that's uh, hardcore physical labor. You know. Weed eating, that ain't nothing. I sprayed these two weeks ago, so that's gonna be a minimal uh, and all that. So, you know, uh, and I'm saving all my, uh, I'm saving all my expenses, you know. So, you know, the money that I made yesterday and the money I make today, well, I'll reinvest that back into business to pay the labor for the rest of the week. Just saying, y'all. One thing about me, y'all, and I don't know how everybody else does it, I do not uh, set myself up 
to burn bridges. Meaning, I don't take on work that I'm not sure I can do. Whether it be whatever specific task they want or uh, a whole heap of volume. Uh, like right now, I don't want to take on any more work. Uh, it's, it, you know, if somebody came to me and had 15 or 20 customers, you know, that wanted me to take care of, I would probably have to, well, I would look at it, and I would have to look at it, that's just common sense. But I would probably uh, be more inclined to uh, uh, handpick a few uh, that would be on my, on my routing already, you know, uh, or close to my routing already. I don't like to, I don't like to, uh, you know, get off the routes, you know, I, I don't mind picking up another one that's on the way to doing another one that's on the way, you know, on, on the, that's, that, that's kind of on the way to the next route, but I don't pick up, I don't take yards, you know, way the hell over here when I'm going over here, you know, uh, especially when it's just a regular lawn maintenance and you're talking about a, you know, a $60 yard. But I'm gonna get over here, I'm gonna get started. I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get today. And hey y'all, it's Ray. You guys have a safe day. Peace out, man. All right guys, so the first two done. Yeah, about 35 minutes on each one. Not a big deal. They're pretty good paying for what I do though. Everybody, Yeah, so I'm pulling up to the next one, y'all. This is Ray. I'll kick back with you guys. Peace out, man. So I kind of wanted to, you guys to see. Look, look at how the good the spray, the spray works. I see that. Look, all the way down through this fence line. See, you know how much time that saves me? So I knew that I could do this one alone and be efficient uh, because I knew that I had sprayed. That ain't all, look. Spray that. Let me just come on over here, look. Look at this there. Spray it all of that. I mean, it just pays dividends to spray, y'all. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's, uh, how many is that? That's, uh, what? That's five. So uh, I got done a little bit quicker than I thought. Uh, the spray from the last time really worked a lot better a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, so I probably saved about 40 minutes uh, just because I sprayed the last time. And when you're by yourself, 40 minutes, well, that's a whole other freaking property, man. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do another one and I may do two more. Uh, so yeah, getting a lot of this stuff uh, done. Uh, I wanna be able to uh, have these two guys out there. We got a lot to do, man. Uh, 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 you know, later this week, I'd like to be able to uh, get over there to the big, uh, to the big uh, Griffin airstrip cut. So, uh, and I'll get some drone footage and everything over there. We're gonna be over there a minute. Uh, so, that's where I'm at, man. Feeling pretty good, y'all. I mean, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful, be beautiful day, y'all, for real. Uh, washing my hands a lot, staying out away from pit folks. Uh, don't want no trouble, y'all. Don't want no trouble. Uh, so, anyway, I'm gonna go do this next one. Well, I might have to, uh, man, I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm moving along exceptionally well, y'all. That'll be that'll be seven on the day, man. No, not twenty. Not twenty-seven. Seven. That's right. That ain't it. All right, y'all. I'll kick back with you guys. Peace out.